Hi, I'm Keith Allen, and I play Murphy on Z Nation, and I listen to One Up Gaming Podcast. Hi, my name is Justin. I'm the developer of Per Rocket, an iOS space game with cats, and I listen to the One Up Gaming Podcast. You can find a link to download my game at facebook.com slash purrocket. Up gaming, drop more hits once I'm famous. The best, that's what our aim is. All platforms, what your game is. To the leader boys are coming. See me in a shooter, I can promise I'll be gunning. When I hit the music, try to swear I'm gonna run it. Can't say one up, you can try, but we done it. Let's go. Alright, let's go. To the best place for reviews, I know. Xbox One and PS4, we you as far as consoles go. They do handheld PCs, merchandise for you and me. Contest that you gotta do. The prizes are for gamers who <laughs> going hard all day. We really the boys, cause you're just that great. Can't lose as much as take your certified badass when you play. I've been with one up gaming. I've been with one up gaming. I've been with one up gaming. Drop more hits once I'm famous. The best, that's what our aim is. All platforms, what your game is. To the leaderboards, I'm coming. See me in a shooter, I can promise I'll be gunning. When I hit the music, I swear I'm gonna run it. Can't take one up, you can try, but we done it. Let's go. And we're back. It's One Up Gaming. It is episode 198. I don't know where we've been for the last two months, but hopefully from now on, we'll start going back into a weekly schedule. Oh, so it's me, David. No, no, that's what I mean. It's been quite slow going. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. I thought I would have missed 200. Woo. The last two episodes were my favourite, I think about 20 or... I can't remember, I, I was going through all the Sega Saturn games I really like, and then I actually put it down to the, the top 20 Sega Saturn games of my choice. So I made some YouTube videos of that. And that took a lot of time, getting all the video footage and copying it all down and editing it all together. But yeah, so that's what I've been doing. So, Joey, what have you been up to? Okay, I've just read these dogs <laughs> freaking out. Hold up. So... <laughs> Joey, what have you been up to? Just fuck all. Absolutely <laughs> fuck all. Chris, what have you been doing? Uh, I've been doing a bit of writing here and there. I've also been making some videos for my YouTube channel. Anything good or just crap like I do? Um, I've been making some Let's Plays with my girlfriend. Uh, get her to try. That sounds wrong. Get her to try some games that she hasn't played before, uh, and then I've made a few like uh, feature videos. So I've just been playing feature around. Videos? I put a... What sort of yeah, features? like 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 uh, how Watch Dogs Two improves on the original, or the top five games releasing in April, like dumb shit like that. Yeah, hmm. I've just been like playing around with some editing and chucking that up on my YouTube channel. Sounds good. <clears throat> Is Joey's dog cool? Doesn't sound like it. So I will just sort of say that we are again using Zencaster. If you want to get 20% off using Zencaster, which we wholeheartedly recommend, just as you're signing up, use the code 1UP20 and you'll get 20% off. Zencaster itself is like a it's like Skype, but it records everyone's audio file locally, and then it like emails it all to your like Dropbox. So basically, you just like get all the files, put them all together. Then you got a working podcast. The other thing that I've been doing is I actually bought one of our One Up Gaming, like the one to one hundred sort of episodes of the podcast from audiobooksontape.com and it's also got the Sans Pants radio interview and one pound of each sale goes to Diabetes UK. Now the... It opens out just a little... 
printed covers and it's got a, the picture of me, it's got a picture of Chris and it's got a picture of the really horrible one that looks like Cartman but it's Matt. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and it's got our logos all over it which is pretty cool. And the cassette tape itself, it looks like a cassette tape but it, it's got like a little USB sort of stick that pulls out of the bottom of it. So that's pretty cool. That's worth the money. And we apologise to Audiobooks on Tape for the lack of sales that they've had from our podcasts. <laughs> but it all goes to a good cause, so hopefully people will, will pay £9 just for the Diabetes UK. I'll buy and... the 30th. Oh my god, Joey! Yeah, I'm back from the dead. Mm. How's your dog? Huh? Yeah, why's your dog? My dog? My dog shut up after a while. It just started Pretty barking long. for no reason. Bring Put him on, on, fourth member of the podcast. <laughs> the I don't know if you... Talent. I don't think you guys were around, but when I used to live at my parents' house, I used to have my own dog. And she used to get proper whining. She used to be a member of the team. <laughs> you just Dude, hear her every now and again. Our, we should all get our dogs on as like extra members. We're going to have the dog podcast. It's just going to be a whole bunch of dog barking. They're all going to be, be the, It can though. be the dog cast. The it'll dog. just be like it'll be, it'll be like oh, oh, oh. what the fuck you haven't heard of Jack X <laughs> 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 so Still more the last thing that I would like to mention is yes I have been stupid and yes I have paid stupid amounts of money and I have got tattoos all up my arm of <laughs> the Sega Saturn the Playstation logo the Xbox logo and of course, my favourite game, this Sega Rally Championship. I've got that logo on my arm as well. It's a week after getting the tattoos done, so they're basically finished peeling and healing, and they're just at the slightly itchy sort of stage now. But it's all going good. And in a few weeks' time, I will go back and get more logos like Sega Ridge Racer, Sega's AM2 Division, Street Fighter 2, Virtua Fighter 2. And then we'll just get some shading done in the background, and then my little sleeve will be finished. You Ooh. you started to say arm, and you got to R, and I thought you were going to say ours. And I was like, <laughs> why? <laughs> got the PlayStation logo right on the left cheek. <laughs> Not a bad idea, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. What, you want to see my PlayStation? <clears throat> no, you have PlayStation on one cheek, Xbox on the other cheek, and then you pull the cheeks apart and show Nintendo <laughs> on your asshole. What drops Doesn't out? Stop. Nothing but goodness. Doesn't stop producing shit. Ooh. But... <laughs> Nintendo makes so, good games occasionally. Joey, what have you been doing the last sort of, couple of weeks then? I like. What have I been playing? No, just what you've been up to. No, we I've haven't been, been on a podcast for a while. I've been doing schoolwork. School has been like non-stop all of a sudden. So, but then again, it's the end of the it's beginning to wrap up. So, schools for Rip. chums. Work at McDonald's. It, I work at McDonald's. I work at a movie theater now. So that's pretty cool. Which it's it's been nice because like. I work maintenance before we open, so I don't have to deal with anybody. Mm. It's always quiet. Like I get to listen to music. That pretty cool. And I get to. And I get to fix as you stuff. work for the for the cinema, do you get like free passes? Mm-hmm. I get. I just get to walk into the movies. Ah, oh, that'd like be great. Like that you see a awesome. friend, you go, "Hey," and they just walk in. Can I come live with you? <laughs> I want to go to the movies for free. Yeah, yeah, it would be cool. So then, this is Silence a gaming podcast. Joey. Well, kind of like a gaming podcast. Chris, it's what have we been playing? The, it's called the One Up Gaming Podcast. I hope it's a gaming podcast. Yeah. Eventually we get there. Eventually we get there. What have I been playing? Yeah. Do you really want to know? Not really, but go on. Alright then. Uh, I've been playing a few games. Um, fuck, it's been a while since I talked about what I played. I played, uh, you know, I played Horizon for a while, then I played Mass Effect for a while. Uh, recently, 
I've played a couple games. I played Rise and Shine, uh, and I played the God of War Three Remaster. I am back. What did you think of the God of War Three Remaster? I thought it looked fucking great, considering it's seven years old. Um, jumped into it, and like, I mean, it looks kind of aged because of the the camera angle. You know, the fixed camera angle and shit. <laughs> For me, the thing that stood out was it looked as though the background and the characters don't seem to gel together. Yeah. Uh, it, he's it, too it, clean. Or, do you know what I mean? It just doesn't seem to fit. Yeah, it's definitely aged um, from that perspective, like looking at it from a camera angle. It's still great gameplay, um, great hack and slash gameplay. Um, but the cutscenes look fantastic for a game, like I say, that's seven years old. Yeah, but cutscenes are going to make them look like Disney movies. What? <laughs> yeah, they have. They can put the like the CG in that. They can make them look really good. I mean, look at some of the Halo games. Oh, I know, but I mean, even then, like some of the games age like horribly in their CG. Like, not every game's um, you know in-game cutscenes look fantastic. I apologize if I just disappear all of a sudden. People decide to bust in my room. Nobody's been in my room all day. And, like, as soon as I start doing something, people can't bust into my room. They're like, hey. I could have sworn you said people have come to bless your room. <laughs> yeah, they, they yeah, come to bless my room. He is the god of war. <laughs> he's cursed. I need a young <laughs> priest and an old priest. So then, Joey, quickly, what have you been playing then? Uh, I've been playing Rocket League. I've been getting back into that, and I've been I've playing a ton of I've never heard of that. Is that a good game? You've never heard of Rocket League? No, it's just like Jack X. <laughs> <laughs> Rocket League Wait, you is haven't, like... Hold on, have you seriously not heard of Rocket League, David? Of course I have, I've played it. <laughs> okay, fucking hell. I was going to say. <laughs> I was like, where have you been then? Same place you've but... been, Joey, not learning about Jack X. I don't know about Jack X, I'm not like 700. I know, obviously you haven't been going to school, probably. <laughs> Jack Hicks came out in 2005. <laughs> I didn't, I don't know. I, d I didn't play very many PlayStation era games, which I did, but that doesn't matter. I don't know about that game. In 2005, I was queuing up for my Xbox 360. In 2005, I, I was in Intermediate? My my favorite game for the in 2005, PlayStation. I was 24. 2005, I was either 4 or 5, depending on what month that it oh, was. Oh, shit, you yeah. 2005, I was 9. <laughs> I, I, did you say I was young and then immediately say you were like 3 years older than me? The fact that you <laughs> haven't heard of Jack X makes you like 10 years younger than me. <laughs> Well, you're young. I'm almost that same age at the same time. My my Wait, favorite you're PS3 nine game. Now? Huh? No. You're yeah, nine totally. Now? Believe it or not. I don't know. David's just getting them younger and younger. <laughs> That's the way I like him. <laughs> We're gonna. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, you have said that. We're gonna. Are we gonna need <laughs> to cut this bit out? Oh, no, no. <laughs> don't worry. No one listens. No one listens. Oh. That's the Nobody's worst thing to say. That's like Nobody's how you attract new audience members. Hey, fuck, I hope you're liking the show. No one else does. <laughs> What's it like being the only one here? I've so got to say, we had one episode where in the in one week alone, it did have over like 7,000 downloads. Which isn't massive, but still, that's well, quite where good. Where the fuck did those people go? <laughs> they listened to it <laughs> <laughs> oh shit yeah, they were like oh fuck okay see ya <laughs> what did I download <laughs> my my favorite PS2 game though was Gran Turismo 3 that one was a fantastic game like there was there was a ton you could do in it what about Gran Turismo 4 I've never played it <laughs> Wait, did I? Considering I that Gran Turismo 3 is your favourite game, I thought you'd have maybe tried favorite. the next sort of game in the series. 
it's not my favorite game. It's my favorite PS2 game, which well, yeah. I tried. Grand Theft Auto Five was on uh, Four was on PS2. I didn't. I played five. I didn't play four. But I know three was really good for its time, and it's still a really good game. Like I love the rally aspect to it. That was a little twist. That was great. It's not as good as Sega Rally. <laughs> Yeah. There was a rally <laughs> game for the PS1 that I would always play too. Call it McRae? I don't remember what it was called. It was like a green and orange disc. That's all I remember. Now that could be anything. <laughs> yeah, what the yeah. fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. And there was another game I completely don't remember the name of it. It's like Dragon something. And it was so hard. No, it was it was a PlayStation One game too. And it was it was really good for a PlayStation One game. Which I'm assuming there's a ton of good games, but still, and that was one of the <laughs> the better ones that I played. But PlayStation Two was great. And, like Stuntman and everything. Which have you ever played Stuntman? Yes. That game is a train wreck. It was good. I liked Stuntman. It was a good game. It was just it was really hard. hard. Yeah. The first level... I don't think I've ever passed the first level. No, I... Oh, I man. take that back. I passed it once. And then <laughs> failed at level two. I it think I got like... to the end... So if I, was it four? Four sort of separate movies? You, I can't remember now. I got onto the last sort of one. And it was just too... Demanding of what it was asking you to do. <laughs> I just put in the cheat codes and drove around in the creator mode. Like the sandbox sort of mode where you put barrels and stuff up and you try to jump and then break your car and then had to restart. Guys, I'm really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can I order really that pizza. Order a pizza. Well what then. kind of pizza are you going to order? Oh, like a Super Supreme? Have you guys got those? I've never even heard of that. A super Supreme. I would from, guess the Super Supremes has got everything on it, sort of thing. Alright, it's from Pizza Hut. It's got like ham, capsicum, onion. Um, capsicum? Why, why did you say capsicum question mark? Because <laughs> I don't even know what that is. You don't know, <laughs> know what capsicum is? No, what's capsicum? David, you know what capsicum is, eh? I am very safe with my food, and no, I've never heard of it. It's a vegetable. I Googled, it's Where a is chemical it? compound. It's for arthritis, pain relief. It's, it's a vegetable. <laughs> is it, it like broccoli? <laughs> yeah, it's like bro. It's like like um. Fuck! I'll look it up. <laughs> How do you maybe smell it? You guys have a different name for it. Is it a pepper? Maybe you guys call it a pepper, but it's not a fucking pepper. <laughs> is it capsicum? Yeah, like capsicum. Yeah. Oh, it's bell pepper. That's not a pepper, though. A pepper is a That's pepper. That's bell pepper. Oh, my God. You Americans have to fucking change the name of everything. <laughs> they are commonly called chili pepper, red or, re- red or green pepper, or just pepper in Britain and the United States. It's not my fault your country's weird. It's a, it's a red it's pepper. A, no, this so. is what... This is, bro, this... <laughs> Jesus. This... This happens so much... Where America, a- like, changes the names of things that the rest of the world calls something, and then they go, Whoa, that's weird. It's a bell pepper, not a capsicum. It was a Is capsicum it aluminium first. or adamantium or ala... What do, what do Americans call aluminum? <laughs> What's well, like uh, football yeah, and soccer? They're like, no, nah, our sport's football. You can be soccer now. Isn't, like, the only reason Australian football... Or soccer is called soccer because it's they've got Australian football what no there's no Australian football I thought that was a thing yeah there is no Australian no. football is like a mix between like rugby and normal football no that's Aussie same rules now. yeah it's the same thing it's not the same thing no one calls it football it's called Aussie rules I don't know to be yeah, fair, I believe Australian football. We, we call it like Australian football. Why do you call it? Why do you call it Australian? They call football? themselves the Australian Football League. 
What is this? Is this whole podcast just people going on Google and being like, fuck your country's pronunciation? <laughs> yeah. Aubergine upsets me. <laughs> but there's one thing that upsets me more than anything else, and it's a thing, it's a pronunciation difference here in America. People say pecan, and it pisses me off so much. I don't you know, know why piss- it does. Dude, you know what pisses me off? That you guys, your pies are sweet. <laughs> Pies your are pies sweet? have like your pies have like apple in them and like blueberry. Oh yeah, berry. apple pie. That's the good old American disgusting. apple pie. That's disgusting. We've got sweet potato pie. Sweet pie potato pie is supposed pie's to really pie is supposed to have steak in it and mince and cheese and bacon and egg and, and potato and pumpkin vegetable. pie is great. No. I don't like fruit pies. Fruit why don't pies you? Are gross. Why don't you have a good old steak and cheese pie? That sounds good. We've got those kind of... we got shepherd's pie. No, not shepherd's pie. No, steak and cheese pie. That sounds good. That's We've got like, different types of pies. We just like make a, fruit pies sometimes. That's a traditional Kiwi meal, having a steak and cheese pie. There's there's pecan pie. Pecan pie is a Texas staple. In the staple. UK, we've got steak and ale pie. Yeah, the UK take the normal... like. There's like meat pies, and there's like, like, say, like sweet pies... And then the UK just fucks it up and does like some weird zombie amalgamation <laughs> of the two. It's like, what, what's this part of the sheep? I don't know, the intestines? It's like, good well, enough? they do. They have steak and kidney pie. Yum. Blood sausage. <laughs> Haggis is good. I know that much. Um, anyway, there was another game I was playing. <laughs> what was that, Chris? What was that? I played Please this rescue twice. this. I played a game called Rise and Shine recently. Have you guys heard of that? Nope. Isn't that a 2D platformer? Yep. Maybe like a shooty sort of thing? Yep, that's the one. It is a... um, Yeah, like a mix between a bullet hell and a kind of 2D platformer puzzle game. uh, Made by Adult Swim Games. Uh, It's got a really cool art style. Everything is hand-drawn to look like a... I think we got sent that to review. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, it's all hand drawn to look like a Cartoon Network game. Yeah, it reminded me of the Neo Geo. Oh God, what the hell do you call him? The World War Two side scrolling shooty game. Oh, Valiant Hearts. No. Neo Geo. Ah. Ah, it's gonna bug me now. Just keep talking. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> what the fuck you're talking about. Um. But no, it's a really cool... Sh- it's, it's really, really hard. You die a lot. Um, so, like, I had a group of friends and we all just passed the controller around and tried to beat it together, which was a fuck ton of fun. Um, but, like, the coolest part about it is the game just makes references to other games. Like, every step you take, there's, like, a reference to, like, another game. Like, the enemies in the game are the grunts of next gen... Um, and they all look like characters from Gears of War, and then you get given a magic gun by the legendary hero, who is literally Zelda. I mean, literally Link. Like, it is Link. Um, and then there's just all these references, like there's the dog from Duck Hunt, there's like Goombas, there's like Mario's in the game, uh, Solid Snake's in the game. Like, the character, the main character makes literally all these references to how like, they are being mentally fucked up by the fact that they keep dying and coming back to life. <laughs> like, it's it's a really cool, smart little game. Opinions? How much was that? <laughs> um, 25 bucks. That's not bad. For two hours long? Sounds good. I got that, that Motorsport Manager game you mentioned... Did you? And Is it any good? It's a, it's a good game, but I'm pissed off at my team. Because I had a 1-2 lead, and apparently they ignored team orders. So, like, I called one into the pits, he's like, nah, it's fine, and then his tire blew out. He's like, that's <laughs> why I called you in. And then, I fin- and then the other one just spun out whenever he was, like, 10 seconds ahead of everybody. I'm just like, okay, well... I'm fine with the 5th and 7th finish, I guess. I'm so upset. But that game is good. Hmm. 
I think no, they have it. improved it from the mobile sort of version. Oh yeah, Chris, it was Metal Slug that I was trying to think of. I could run around the screen, shoot things. I think Chris is... Oh, I was going to say I think Chris is gone, but I think Jojo's just gone. Oh, Joey's back. Hi, Joey. Hello. Hi, my my thing was like, it apparently wanted to crash, so... Oh, you were in a car crash? <laughs> Rip. <laughs> Huh? That's what this podcast Apparently. is. <laughs> it drove itself I've been looking for some chicken nuggets and I couldn't find any. Oh yeah, Chris, I don't know if you heard or not, but Metal Slug. <laughs> yeah? What about Metal it? Slug. That, that's what reminds me of that Rise and Shine sort of run around shooty sort of game. Let me even look <laughs> what Metal Slug is. It's just a side-on shooter. I, I finished. Sort of like yeah, it kind, of looks like, it kind of looks like that, but it's got a better art style. Yeah, yeah. Well, Metal Slug's like from like ni- early nineties sort of thing. Yeah, no, well, don't give any excuses. It looks shit. <laughs> I finished that game. We got, we got sent to reviews like Toby and the Secret Mine mm. or something like that. That game yeah. was really God good. Damn it! If you told me we had a review copy, David, I wouldn't have spent twenty five bucks. <laughs> to be fair, I think I gave that review code out. Two, three months ago. Really? Maybe longer. Did you ever get a... Two, three months ago, the game came out like two weeks ago. Yeah. You got a review <laughs> code two, three months before the game came out. Yeah, it depends when what the game is. Sometimes they do come out like a month or so early. Like I got the... Um... Oh god, what was it called? It's like Banjo-Kazooie. Ukulele. Ukulele. I got that sent like a month and a half early. <laughs> Did anyone take it? No, I had to take it and review it. Oh. Am, am I allowed to talk about that game I'm always yes. complaining about? Yes, it has officially come out and the reviews have come out for it. We didn't write a review for it. Am I what allowed? game is this? Yeah, I know. I know we didn't. That was on purpose. It was called Red it was Barton and Red the Barton. Sky Pirates. Is that some big game or something? Yeah, it's five dollars on Steam. Is that some big game huh? that I should have heard of? No, no, it's it's not. It's like an indie little game. And oh my god, I purposely didn't re- write a review because I didn't want to make him feel bad. But oh, why is boy. it that bad? It's trash. I didn't think it was that like, bad. It reminded me of a really I simple was... Nintendo 64 game, like Star Fox sort of thing. Like, it would have been fine if it wasn't the art style that it was. Because it was like a 3D sort of art style, and it made it look like you could go other places other than left, right, and up, and down. And it didn't work. Well, it was... I feel it, it didn't work. basically plays just like the old Star Fox games, and like Space Harrier, and Afterburner. But those, those had nice art styles. It was like distinct on what you had to shoot at and what was good, and what was bad. And in Red Barton, it was just sort of like, here's a ton of things. You figured yeah. it out. To be fair, though, you played the Which? the devs sort of like version of it, not the actual release version. But looking at the screenshots and the videos for everything, not not much. To has be changed. honest. Which it's like, it's like saying the frame of the car is done. It's a terrible frame, but it doesn't have a body on it yet. So there's not much you can do at that point. It wasn't a good concept to be did honest. Did you use a joypad or did you use the keyboard? I used both in hopes that it would help. Because the whatsoever. joypad configuration wasn't set, and it didn't have like the boost button and the turbo button and things on it. Yeah, I used the keyboard after a while because it wasn't quite working with the. the but anyway, let's pad. move off on bad mouthing games. But I'm, I'm I'm sorry, whoever developed it, but yeah, 
Hey, that's en- <laughs> that's enough of that. That's just sad. You gotta move on and let it be. Let it be. Yeah. I mean, if people like it, that's on them. I'm just. I one thought person. it was okay for a five pound sort of game. I thought it was not bad. Everyone has their oh. own personal taste. I click something. What is Joey uploading? <laughs> <laughs> I accidentally clicked something. It's uploading like the the half the podcast I was in. Okay. Before it crashed. Right then. Well, so I will a, just you another podcast. Yeah. In That's a better surprise. one. <laughs> well, what one's that? <laughs> it's um, we're secretly recording our other podcast in the background. Wait, what? David and I. Did did do you not hear about our wonderful second podcast? This is hardcore plug into this what, one talks? that I didn't mean to do huh no there was another one where it was we call it the pid crew podcast it's a formula one podcast is this some shit joke where we <laughs> no this is this a real real thing really we made a podcast really yeah. the first episode is up yeah really David you were letting this podcast go down the toilet yeah. and then start a formula one podcast it did well. Just the pilot did well. Jesus, alright. I don't know what people want anymore. According to I don't David, know what people want anymore. They want Formula One. We... The first episode, we just trash-talked McLaren. It wasn't trash-talked, Well, talk, learn more about Jack X and then add that into the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> For any of you who don't know... Uh, Joey is so goddamn young, he doesn't know what Jack X is, the best kart racing game of all time. You're not that much older I'm than like, me, so... How old are you? I'm four I'm years 16. older than you. I've seen some Almost shit. 17. I've, I've seen things that you haven't, you haven't experienced yet. <laughs> I know what comes after school, man. I've seen, I've be- seen Beyond the Horizon, man. I know what's after school. Be on it's more horizon. school, bro. <laughs> Think about me. I'm 36. I make noises when I try to get out of a chair. I know, and you're and you're talking to a bunch of nine-year-olds, David, and saying, mm, "I like it that young." Like, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> they have fast reflexes, little hands. It's just, you need to stop sometimes. Like, you just need to stop you're yourself. You're just digging sometimes. this hole deeper. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Their ages on the clock. This is a gaming podcast, remember, people. I <laughs> have got the Nintendo Switch. Oh, why didn't you give me one? How is it? Yeah, why because didn't you? Because why didn't you get that? I had to sign stuff that we wouldn't mention certain things in videos. So I declined to get one, and I had to buy one. Why? I would have signed that shit, David. Yeah, I would have not talked about anything I just played it we weren't allowed to mention anything about battery life any problems with the machine any problems with the online infrastructure instru- instru- yeah I would have sat anything. there and been a free Nintendo I Switch wouldn't mention if they like fantastic. kidnapped my dog this is the best console ever because it was free thank you <laughs> 11 out of 10 fantastic so I would have been all yeah so I, I got one <laughs> bought for my birthday so that's pretty cool. How is it? I practically use it exactly the same as I've used my Wii U. And that is just... <laughs> basically, whenever I go to the toilet, I just take it in there and... <laughs> play a bit of Mario Kart. I heard Breath of the Wild. I heard Breath of the Wild is really good. So, some of the games that I've played... Mario Kart, Breath of the Wild, Bomberman... Snake Pass. Um, some of the Neo Geo sort of ports. But I will say, the Zelda game, I'm not a big Zelda fan. But this game, it's nothing really like the old Zelda games. It's just a fun world to be in, and you can just pee about. And it just... <laughs> yeah, I mean, about. you're not exactly... When you first do your first yeah. four things, it comes up saying, 
now you can go and defeat Ganon if you want. Or you can go and level your character up to make it easier. You know, it doesn't really tell you what to do, so you just walk around and hit things and see what happens. I heard it has, like, a whole bunch of little aspects that make the game, like, that much better. Like, people run out of the rain, like, cover their heads as it's raining... And, like, people won't give you the same dialogue multiple See, times. See, I really want to play Breath of the Wild just because, like, I personally see myself as, like, a really harsh critic of Nintendo because I've played a few Nintendo games, but I feel like so many people in the, in the industry have this, like, nostalgia because they grew up with Nintendo and they're a little bit jaded when they review this kind of stuff. So I really want to play it just so I can see, like, okay, legitimately, is this actually, like, like what people are saying, like, one of the best games ever? Like, or at least of this generation. You know? I've... I've grown up with Nintendo, and, like, I've always had a positive outlook towards them. But, like, whenever they were doing stuff that was I thought was really dumb, i.e. the 2DS, the Wii U... I liked the 2DS, And there's something actually. else I've I picked one up What about the new 2DS that's just been announced? It, it, it's better than the the older one. Because it can actually fold up and fit in your pocket. Which, to be fair, I don't see why you'd want a 3DS game and not play it in 3D. I 3D. Which I say that and then I realize I never played I any of my 3D. games in 3D. I thought it was a gimmick then. It was a really cool I still think it's a gimmick now. I thought it was Same really as the cool. VR headsets. I think they're it was just like gimmick. Into a box. Very expensive gimmick. I really hope they wouldn't be, but I'm, I'm swinging more towards their belief. I mean, the thing that annoys me is everyone said, oh, the PSVR is the cheapest sort of, like, headset. But it's really crap. And it's still 350 quid. <laughs> which is, like, 80 quid more than a brand new console by Nintendo. Like, a whole console. The... I I used the Vive and the Vive was no. really good. Like there were still some Out some of all visual the ones things that, that could have been. The Oculus was the worst one, but that was still the I think it was the development two. You know, so it wasn't final hardware. That was the worst. Then the PlayStation VR, then the Oculus. But I still didn't think they were that good. The Vive was oh, good. Sorry, I've Vive, heard the yeah, Oculus is terrible. I just. I don't know. To me, it it does just feel like a gimmick. But I don't know. It, it it adds an extra aspect to games that you can't really have with a controller. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like the two things. I really wanted to uh, like the Drive Club VR on the PlayStation VR. And that was the only game to make me physically feel ill. Okay. You know, I literally wanted to vomit after playing about 10 minutes of a race. Every other game didn't the, make um, me do that. I played I played Fallout in VR. And that was terrifying. Because, like... I remember one of the first things was a death claw charged straight through me. And in VR, having something go through you makes you really cold. Because you're like, that's not supposed to be there. And I I jumped and fell onto the, fell onto the ground and the guy laughed at me. And then I, afterwards, I teleported into a, like half an inch away from a wall. And it was just, it was terrible. But VR is fun. I enjoyed it. I oh, know I played a little bit of VR. Like the only thing I played is PlayStation VR, and I played a couple of mini games, and they were like cool little wow. This is a weird experience, but I just couldn't see myself like. There's just nothing out there at the moment as a game that I feel like could I could invest enough in to like warrant a purchase. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I was most... thinking of buying one, but if someone may... I decided to get like the Nintendo Switch, which was a similar, well, cheaper. And I just thought, well, getting a whole new console is better than an add-on. Yeah. Well, the closest thing that's the, that's drawn yeah, me you... in is a game called Farpoint. Have you guys seen that? No. Oh, it's actually, like is a... that the first-person shooter? Yeah, it's like that sci-fi first-person shooter. 
Um, they put out a story trailer recently, so it looks like it actually might have some substance. But I'm, I'm with you, David. Like, I'm, I'm actually, I'm not a big Nintendo fan, but I'm more swayed to buy a Nintendo Switch than I am a VR headset at the moment, like, just so I can play games on the go, like Zelda and stuff. And there's a lot more games that you could play with, like, better quality, I guess, with a Switch than you can the, um, the VR games, because as, as, as it stands now, there's not very many, like, great VR games. Yeah. Like, there's a couple that stand out, but it's not enough to, like, really overpower the Switch. And seeing how, as how it's been a while, which I didn't, I don't expect it to be, like, terribly great, but still, I don't know. You just can't really get that full VR thing yet, so. Yeah. I like how it is now, though, so. I mean, like, when I played, like, the PlayStation VR... Um, I'm trying to think of the game that it was. Rigs, the yeah, first-person sort of before, shooter yeah. game. I really, really enjoyed that. The only problem with it was one of the games that- is because the PlayStation VR sold so few. It's an online-only sort of combat shooter. Yeah. So it was impossible to play, and then all of a sudden, no one else played it. So it just died. And now the yeah. developer that made it, Sony shut the developer down, so they're not doing any updates for it. Yeah, that's rough. <laughs> but I, I really enjoyed that one game. Of the, one of my favorite... One of the best looking VR games to me is the hand... Uh, what was it? Like Horseshoes and Hand Grenades or something? That game seems really good. It's like Hot Dogs, Horseshoes and Hand Grenades. I don't remember. The most fun that I had was a it's game dumbing. called Headmaster. I've never even heard of it. It's basically like a like a football soccer sort of game where you're testing being tested about your football skills and football's being fired over, you got to head of the ball into the net. And there's obstacles and bombs and mines and it's so fun. It's really wacky and and stupid. But that's a fun little game. <laughs> And I've got to mention, Batman Arkham VR was really quite good as well. As a story, it quite filled out the, the background of the games. Project Cars seems really good too. That's a That was a VR game. I just know that the ga- the handling in that game is atrocious. Like, pretty much, if you go into any turn with any sort of speed, you're going through it yeah. sideways. Which... I don't know. I know the Forza games have pretty good I really handling. Like the Forza it thing, was just yeah. the project. I I don't know. Project Cars is a really pretty game. Have you it's seen just the Project that Cars handling two ruins trailer. the game? I'm like all for that, and they said they they improved the grip, and it just made me sort of freak out. And they have rally. Ah. <laughs> I'm, I'm hyped that for that. But Sega I know. Rally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you and your Sega yeah, Rally. I've got a title of it now. But it's. I have to mention yeah, it. Yeah, devoted, devoted fan. Devoted <laughs> fan. Sega's gonna listen. Like one guy, one guy from Sega is gonna listen. He's gonna be like, "Let's send this guy the only Sega Rally fan." I tell you what, I don't know about you guys, but it kind of weirds me out that there hasn't been a a redo of the Virtua Racing. Because all the old style, Mm -hmm. really simple sort of graphics, some of the games, very square, boxy sort of, you know, like graphics, they're all the rage. So I think that they could do a really good racing game deliberately like make it look like very retro and I think that could be a quite a good little game you want to know what would be you want to know what would be a good remake Galaga in first person just give it a new perspective <laughs> it'd be it'd be super weird and you probably couldn't sell it for very much because there wouldn't be much into it but just as like a sort of extra project thing that'd be pretty cool 
I, I'm still waiting for a, like, a new full featured Ridge Racer game. I've, I don't know what Ridge you Racer is. You don't know what Ridge Racer is? No. No, I could, <laughs> I could understand Never. Jack X. Because that was a game at the very last okay. of the lifespan of the PS2. Yeah, what are, the, what, are you going to say you forget about God of War, Shadow of the Colossus? <laughs> they came out at the end as well. Yeah, but they oh, had sequels. Jack, one of the best racing games of all time, my friend. But God of War isn't really remembered for the PS2 sort of games. It's remembered as a series. No, I remember it as a PS2 True. game. God of War, God of War 2. That was like the end of my... PlayStation kind of era. I never well, played them. Two era. Well, that's because you were fucking too busy up Cigarello's <laughs> ass. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Up no. the exhaust, thanks. Whatever. So, When's one game that I must mention. No. Cigarelli? Sniper Ghost. <laughs> Warrior Sniper? 3. Yeah, Sniper Ghost Warrior 3. Huh? That was another game it? that we got sent to review that no one else wanted, so I've downloaded it on my Xbox One. And Is it a good game? I think I can say, from you turning the game on to actually playing the game, the loading, it takes about 5-6 minutes. And that's over six minutes. People complain what? when it's about forty seconds. Yeah, five minutes oh, five is minutes a long time, though. To actually load the game. To, for this game Fuck to load off. up. Serious? That's ridiculous. <laughs> I think I've got a video up on After our YouTube like... channel where we actually I was gonna cut it, but I thought, no, oh, no, no, I'm keeping the full load in. <laughs> After, like, maybe, like, 40 seconds is pushing it. Like, when matchmaking, I'll wait, like, a couple minutes. But, like, uh, waiting for a game to load isn't worth that wait. If it doesn't load I mean, that, quickly, I guess. Which, like, the older games no, didn't even take that long. No, that's you put on another game and play that. Yeah. <laughs> play another game <laughs> while you're waiting for this one to load. So, yeah, I, I will say... That. Graphically speaking, it's better than a 360 game, oh, but not quite up there with like, this sort of generation. That's not great, like, three yeah. four years into a generation. You know. Was it like crossover PS3? No, no it's just it's a budget game, and it's using the CryEngine. Okay. So, I mean, I can't actually think of anything recently that uses the CryEngine. What was it? The, um, the Unreal... What was it? The 8 Engine? Is that the new one? The newest Unreal Engine? Well, it's Unreal 4. That's the newest one. I don't remember. The newest one, people were freaking out about because you can make like super realistic things and it was like it was really great seeing the demos that people were putting off for it and I thought people were gonna take off with it take off with the new sort of enhanced realism sort of stuff which I think Need for Speed did cause they had yeah, a that really used, that used the Frostbite really 3 engine that's the disappointment but that was a good that game looked really good I mean it was a terrible game but still Actually, I think that was Need for Speed nice. The Run I'm not sure what the newer ones used I know the newest Tiger Woods used the Frostbite engine and all the like, <laughs> Battlefront sort of games and all of them used the Frostbite engine <laughs> nothing defines the pinnacle of gaming like Tiger Woods oh god yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's a good game, but how does it compare to Tiger Woods? That's fuck. <laughs> Which I'm, 
<laughs> I've never played a Tiger Woods yeah, game. Yeah, no, I never honest. played a shit game either. I played the Tiger Woods game. I used to like Tiger Woods. I'd rather play a bowling game. Yeah, we. I used to really like Connect Sports. He's bowling. <laughs> Wii Sports was great. Yeah, but you could you could you like, could I always... that, though. You didn't actually have to move. True, but still, it was still fun to play yeah, with. But friends. I don't have friends, and I always tried. Okay, no need to make it sad, David. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a sounds like a personal <laughs> problem. Yes, it sounds like a it sounds like a David issue. <laughs> <laughs> but. I always remember trying to get over a thousand on all the the games, and I did in bowling, tennis, and boxing. And I could never do it in baseball. I could never get into the tennis game. I just didn't like the fact that you couldn't I, move your was... character. Oh yeah, it just yeah. sort of moved on its own. I'd have liked if you actually had the three D stick Which... to move your character, and then just to swing to swing. Cause I think that would have been better. I remember the, the boxing thing was really tough to get a thousand in because it wouldn't register your hooks. It just jab them normally, and you try to hook them and keep like trying to do the same thing over and over, and it doesn't register half the swings. So you just keep getting pummeled as you're trying to swing at this guy, and nothing works. It was it was terrible, <laughs> but it was still a fun game. And then what was it? It was uh, Wii Party or something like that. That was bad. I don't know if you Wii Party was great. What do you mean? It was a crap game that came with a bloody control pad. It was great. I loved it. Playing pool and the fine. It was one of whatever. the best selling games on the Wii just because it came with a controller. I I think we got it for the controller too, <laughs> but we played it. We played the games. There's like that air hockey sort of game where you could switch the shape of your con- your thing at the beginning, and you'd say like, "Oh, let's all be circles," and then right before the game started, someone became like the paddle, and you were just screwed because you didn't have as much room to hit with. But that game was fun. Yep. But. <laughs> so, anything else we want to talk about? Or do you reckon that'll do? I don't know. I'm sick of you guys. <laughs> I know. I know the feeling. It's tiring. It's a bell pepper, not oh, a capsicum. Does anyone want to know my all time top 20 <laughs> Sega Saturn games? No, that's it for the one up game. Sega Rally Time Sony. Week, guys. Thank you for joining us. It's a pleasure having you out. Yeah, so... Dave is please just dead. check our website, oneupgaming.co.uk. We've got a Facebook, YouTube, Twitch. <laughs> They're all just links on the top of the screen. We have a Twitch, sort of which is slash O-U-G official. If you want to tweet us, it's at O-U-G official. If you want to contact us, it's contact at email... I can't even read. If you want to email us, it's contact at oneupgaming.co.uk. Please subscribe to us on iTunes, leave us positive feedback, five stars, all that kind of stuff. And as I said before, we've got our, you know, the 100 podcast collection on audiobooks dot, audiobooks on tiff dot com for nine pound. And we've also got a music album out called Games Inspired Music. Just search that and. 20% 20% of each sale will go to the Child's Play Charity. We're on Patreon, which is just patreon.com slash O-U-G. We have official merchandise at bluecyborg.com. Just search 1UP Gaming. And I believe that will do for our 198th podcast. We've got to get the second 200 hey. episodes up as well. What do you reckon? <laughs> Dude, we have to, man. One of these days. I reckon the second 200 are way better. One of these days. Do you reckon? Hey. 
Hell yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you everyone for listening to Which... our random rants. Yeah, thanks guys. Before I go, I just want to say Mario Kart, good game. I hate the fact that the computer sends red <laughs> shells and blue bloody things out whenever you're out in the lead all the goddamn time. So annoying. People do that. That's Mario Kart. It just gets so annoying. It's the feel. It's the great feeling of you're about to win and then getting hit by a red shell, followed by a blue shell, followed by three green shells, and then a red shell again, and it becoming less. So annoying after a while. <laughs> Or is it? But, yeah. Ooh. That's what I have to add. <laughs> Find that on the next, <laughs> next episode of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> oh, well, guys. Thank you all, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. See ya. Au revoir, mes amis. It is just so annoying after a while. Au revoir, mes amis. Hey, guys. Justin here. I just wanted to say that I've been thinking about you. I've been thinking about you a lot. Yes, you in particular, in that way. And I wanted to say, I think you're great. I've always said that about you. And I was wondering, if you think we're great, if you could give us a quick rating on iTunes, we'd really appreciate it. It would really, really help us out in that, you know, podcasty sort of way. And if you're feeling particularly festive, perhaps even a little saucy, Maybe stop by our Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash O-U-G and see if you can't slip a few bucks our way. After all, every little penny or whatever space money they use in Europe helps out the show. Thanks for listening. O-U-G Gaming will always be free, but with your support, we can always move forward and always be better.